I'm Rabbi Hannah Orden from Congregation Beth HaTikva in Summit, New Jersey. As you can see, I am outdoors. That seems to be the safest place to be these days, unless you want to be stuck in your house all the time. So speaking of being stuck in the house, we are not having any events at our synagogue in person, but we're trying to think creatively about different things that we can do to connect with each other. And one of the ideas that we had was to either show a short film or have people watch a film on their own and then come together online and discuss it. So I went online to look for films because I had made a no mental note of myself that there was a new movie coming out that was called American Pickle. And it was about a Jewish immigrant who comes to the United States at the turn of the century and um, he somehow falls into a pickle barrel and he gets brined and he then gets woken up. I haven't seen the movie, but my idea, I think this is what happens. He gets woken up a hundred years later in this, into our world. So I didn't find the movie, it hasn't come out yet, but in the meantime, what I did find was a movie called Pickle Man. Pickle Man is a very short documentary made by the daughter of a man who was diagnosed with ALS. And you might think that this man would be depressed and despairing. He was also the son of Holocaust survivors, and he had learned from his growing up that you always have to look on the bright side, you know, that no matter how terrible things are, that there's always something good. So he finds something good in his situation, and after uh, and his whole adult life being a professional photographer, he decides to open a pickle business. And I guess this was a dream of his, and he starts his pickle company, and the proceeds from selling all of the pickles go to ALS research. So it's just this great story, and he has this irrepressible uh, spirit. And when he gets to the point where he can't speak anymore, um, you know, he has the computer and he's typed things, and then, you know, the recorded voice comes out. And at one point, he's typing, and what comes out is, until further notice, celebrate everything. And I just love that. You know, as we struggle, many of us, with all kinds of fears and anxieties and actual real challenges, economic challenges and health challenges in this really difficult time, I thought this movie was just a perfect message for us that things can be really, really difficult in life. And this man had probably one of the worst things that could happen to you. And yet he had that spirit. And up until the very end, no matter what, he kept telling people, until further notice, celebrate everything.